Bill, Western intelligence officials are sounding the alarm on the Chinese cyber threat. They say Chinese hackers are targeting critical U.S. infrastructure. Michael Allen served on the National Security Council under President George W. Bush and is the managing director of Beacon Strategies. Mike, thanks so much for being here. You know, what strikes me about this announcement was we heard about it through Microsoft and the Five Eyes, absent of any statement from the White House. Why do you think that is? Are they trying not to further uh, frost relations with Beijing? That's certainly been a theme of late with the Biden administration. I think they think that the, it, our relations with China are in a free fall. But they certainly should talk about it from the White House podium today because it was an extraordinary development. All of our intelligence services in the English-speaking world got together to put a warning out to networks um, and the private sector that operate critical infrastructure and let them know how to find this pernicious malware that might be on critical infrastructure systems across the United States. Experts are saying this could be likely the largest scale cyber espionage campaign against the U.S. in history. Um, and it's aimed at limiting the ability of the U.S. to communicate with Asia. Is that a signal from China that Taiwan had better not become an issue? I think it is. I think you're onto something. It's that the Chinese are consistently trying to send us a message that we ought not intervene in a possible Taiwan war if the Chinese were to go and try and take that particular island. They want to send us the message that they have extraordinary capabilities, that they can blow up our carriers, they can take out our communications gears, communication gear, and otherwise prevent us from succeeding. So they're trying to deter us from getting involved at all. What do you make of that, uh, that announcement that this simulated war game shows that they could take out uh, the U.S. fleet of aircraft carriers, the world's biggest aircraft carrier, Gerald R. Ford? Um, is, why would they announce that? And is it politically motivated? Because usually when you game out, you know, war games, you're supposed to be looking at where the variables are, not trying to show that you could win at something. That's exactly right. I think they're trying to put it out to send us a message that they have sufficient military capability to take our carriers out long before they could arrive on the scene to help in a Taiwan contingency. I think it's a reminder, however, for those of us here in the United States, especially as we need to gear up our defense industrial base, that we need an extraordinarily um, quick system to develop new long-range anti-ship missiles so that we could help hold at bay the Chinese if they tried to take Taiwan. Why do we care about Taiwan? It's because it's economically important in the most dynamic economic region in the world. So we need to have a presence there and we need to continue to build our military in case the Chinese try to go at Taiwan sometime mm -hmm. soon. All right. And we will be watching for uh, any statement from the, the White House. None has come yet. So, Michael Allen, thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.